Hi, this is Pioneer Field Agronomist Scott Roundtree in southern Wisconsin. Uh, we're in a field in southwestern Wisconsin of about V10, V11 corn, roughly shoulder high, and today we're going to be scouting for corn rootworm. Uh, this is a long-term corn on corn field. I've uh, been in corn for many years. Uh, last year it did have some standability issues uh, from corn rootworm. So we're going to dig and scout for some larvae here and uh, we'll go from there. So the first thing I like to do when we're scouting uh, for corn rootworm larvae is to find a plant that's evenly spaced from its neighbor. And we wanna really dig about six, eight inches away from that root crown or the stalk and try to preserve that entire root ball with the soil on it as not to shed any larvae or get any larvae off of the soil roots until we wash them and are ready to evaluate roots back at the truck. So you can see here, we've successfully dug around the entire root crown and uh, that, that root crown is free with the soil ball on it. Uh, of course, at this point in the growing season, the corn roots are several feet long, but we really care about that main area of, of larval feeding right around that root crown. So I like to tip the plant over and then chop it off about uh, eight to 12 inches above that root crown area with my spade. And then we have a really nice place to grab uh, and we have a lot of that soil intact uh, so we can later float corn rootworm larvae back at the truck. So to put that in our bucket, I like to get a total of eight to 10 stalks across the entire field. Gives us a really nice evaluation uh, just to make sure we don't have any refuge plants in there that might not be rootworm traded, things like that. Uh, so we'll continue this scouting across the rest of this cornfield. Here's an example of the last root crown I dug. It fell apart just a little bit, but in between where those two clouds came apart is an example of a fairly mature corn rootworm larva. In this instance, three eighths, uh, pushing a half inch long. Easily identifiable, bodies mostly white, sometimes a little bit pale yellow color. Uh, and then we have a fairly dark little head at the top of that. So uh, fairly full size larva. Uh, we'll take it back to the truck and see how many more we can find. So we'll go ahead and take one of the root balls, dunk it in the water, shake it around fairly aggressively, and then use both hands to get all of the soil off the root tissue. Uh, we'll evaluate the root tissue for whiteness, healthy white is the color we're looking for if we see any brown injury, uh, that's a sign of rootworm feeding. And then we'll wait about another five minutes and the little white rootworm larvae should float to the surface of the water here if we do have any out in the field. All right, so here's the first root system. We're able to get most of the soil off of that root crown area. Uh, if you have access to a pressure washer near a shop or something, that's even better. Uh, we can get all the soil off, but the main goal is just to determine uh, how healthy and white those root tissues are looking. Uh, upon closer evaluation, uh, we do have a little bit of corn rootworm feeding here. Uh, those larvae have been feeding on the corn tip. You can see uh, that brown discoloration, and that's fairly common uh, around the root. Here we can see some additional along the root tip there. Um, anywhere we see brown, that's an indication that uh, some of those larvae have been munching. Uh, remember that each of those larvae do need to take a bite out of that corn root system, ingest the BT protein, uh, and that's how they're ultimately killed. But, uh, so if we have very high populations, it's not uncommon to see uh, some brown discoloration. All right, here's a close-up of some corn rootworm larvae. Uh, pulled off of the top of the bucket float. As you can see here, generally white in color, uh, sometimes pale yellowish as they get a little bit more mature, uh, often a black or brownish uh, head right at one end. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.